Hello everyone, it's Camelsaurus here and welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be re reviewing the Papo 2016 Velociraptor. Or should I say, Feathered Velociraptor. That's right, Papo of all companies have made a Feathered Velociraptor last year. This came as a shock to most and actually they were so close to getting it right. However, a few flaws did hold this figure back. Before we get into the review, I think we should learn about this animal and its background information. Velociraptor means speedy bird of prey or quick plunderer. Velociraptor was a carnivore or a meat eater. Its length was 1.8 meters and its height was 1 meter. And it weighed about 15 kilograms, approximately. It lived in the late Cretaceous 90 to 80 million years ago and it lived in Asia, in Mongolia and China. For information out of the way, let's start off like always with the this head. This figure has a beautiful head sculpt. In fact, it might be the best Velociraptor by Papo's head sculpt I've ever seen simply because the head is actually shaped like a Velociraptor's head, unlike a Jurassic Park ripoff. Now one thing I'd like to point out about this head sculpt is just how like that is a normal sized jaw you'd think it'd open that wide. How about that? That's quite wide. How about sorry how about that? That is incredible just how wide they've managed to get this figure's jaw and it actually goes for some very very cool poses. Now, moving on to the rest of the head, over it we have these nice kind of crests highlighted in red. Very, very nice. I love the colour they chose for that. The head sculpt itself is a nice yellow colour, showing the actual skin. However, as it goes onto the neck, feathers start to become present and they're a nice, lovely green colour. Then they go into a more browny colour more resembling the colour of the head, but feathers this time. I'd also like to say they have painted a pupil on this very, very small eye, and that is awesome. And also, the whole interior of the mouth is sculpted, and it's sculpted beautifully. Even the roof of the mouth has been sculpted as well. Now that is an amazing and sculpt. Down the rest of the body, the feathers continue and they change colours rapidly. We have yellow feathers, green feathers, brown feathers, red feathers even along the top on the back here. Going down to the wings, and that's right, wings on this figure. Um, we have these nice kind of turkey looking feathers and that's very, very cool. In fact, it reminds me of the scene in Jurassic Park when they say, when the little kid, he goes, huh. More like a six foot turkey. That's what it reminds me of. This literally looks like a six foot turkey and I like it. But um, yeah, the one problem with these wings is they're, they're just not quite long enough. They should cover the entire claw, but the claws are still present. However, it was a good attempt by Papo. I'll give Going them down that. down to the feet. The feet are sculpted in a nice like orangish color. However, they gave it a gray wash, which I think was a bad move on their part. Uh, as you can see, the grey bits in between. I think if they'd done this with black, it would have stand. It would have stood out a lot nicer. Would have come with a nicer finish in the end. But it still looks pretty good for what it is. Now going up, we have these kind of feathers coming off the end of the leg. That's very cool as well. But the tail is very very nice. We have this nice, um, nice bit of plumage over here. Uh, just a big tail fan, and that is accurate to what. Velocir Velociraptor actually had and that is awesome to see however I think with the tail fan they could have made it just a little bit bigger still a very good attempt so, that's all I have to say about the sculpt let's get in to size comparison oh, first I have my one of my other feathered Velociraptors just to compare the difference of how they look and I think they look quite nice together the Papa one maybe being a male and the Carnegie one maybe being a female. All in all, these look very, very good together. Up next, I decide to bring in Papo's former Velociraptor. 
This was their past attempt and I think they've improved phenomenally. The sculpt is almost is completely different and you can see the real difference is the head. The head sculpt is very, very different. Not to mention the buttload of feathers that's on the new and one. And finally, here we have the Papo Brachiosaurus. And I think they scale not very well, considering Velociraptor is not a big animal and Brachiosaurus is huge. This makes it look like the size of an Allosaurus. But you know what? It's fine. I don't think you'd really have them fighting against each other anyway. But... That's all for size comparisons. All in all, I think this Papo Feathered Velociraptor is their best Velociraptor yet. And it makes an amazing, amazing model for display. And I think it would be a good toy for children as well. As long as they learn to take care of it. As areas like the end of the tail where the fan is could snap off. However, if you ignore that, I think this is a very, very good model and toy and I recommend any collector to go pick this up that's all from uh, actually wait the rating between uh, out of 10 I'm gonna give this model a 9 that's right a 9 I really like this model however it's not perfect but it's a very very good attempt that's all for me folks until next time I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.